See how cozy this big guy can make himself. sure that Gallup can get to Europe with us because getting a dog to Europe is a lot of work. It's been months of phone calls and vet visits and paperwork and we get to the airport and it seems like it's still confusing getting him checked in but thankfully we've got him checked in and we're gonna go through security. You guys, security is always my least favorite part of the airport. I wanted to film how Gallup goes through security for you guys, but they wouldn't let me. Surprise, surprise. And um, so basically, he alarms because so much of him is metal, his leash, his collar, his harness. And so he always alarms. So this time is different every time, really. But this time, my mom went through, then Gallup went through and waited with her there, and then I went through. So I beat, or I didn't beat, but Gallup did, so they didn't have to like wand me or check me or anything, and then they just visually scan the dog to make sure everything's okay. So since there's not too many people around yet, since we're so early, there's not too many people to stare at me when I talk to a camera. So I'm gonna do a little airplane outfit of the day right now. So I'm just wearing this super cozy, comfortable sweater, because we're doing like an overnight red-eye flight. It has a little doggy on it, which reminds me of Gallup. And then I have the sleeves rolled up to show the like color on the inside. Kind of matches my nails, right mom? A little bit, maybe? Mm -hmm. And then I have these crazy comfortable high-waisted flowy, almost like harem pants. And super fun, colorful running shoes for comfort. And then I have my favorite backpack, this amazing Roots backpack. So Canadian of me. And it fits everything I need. And I just have a little comfortable hair band in. Do when you're early to an airport. than normal. This plane is very tight, unfortunately. But this is how it'll be. There, that's better. Yes, more room. We moved rows so Gallup has the whole row to himself. So he's much more comfortable now, thankfully. So far, we've been very well welcomed on Aer Lingus. Thank you. And uh, Gallup is much more comfortable now that we have all of these seats to ourselves. He can stretch out, I can stretch out, we're all happy. The other great thing about the fact that they moved us is that the washroom's right there. So even though most people would hate being sat next to a bathroom, it's nice for me because it means that if I have to go to the washroom, I don't have to wake my mom or dad in the row ahead of me. I can just find my way on my own, which is great. It's time for yummy, yummy airplane food dinner. Gallop is at my feet and he smells what I got and he's a little jealous, I think. Oh, uh, here we have our water in a nice little, like, to-go cup. We have some butter. They told me that this
this was my dessert, so I decided to smell it because I can't see what it is. And it smells like berries. And they told me that this was hummus and carrots. And then originally I thought that this was the dessert when I was feeling my tray, but I think that's the bread roll for the butter. And here we have the best of bad options, shepherd's pie. And just so you guys know, Irish Fanta is way better than Canadian Fanta. So if you're ever in Ireland, get orange Fanta. And my shepherd's pie was actually really good, wasn't it, Mom? Delicious. I am impressed with the air like this food. So I just went through my little like knife and fork and napkin package and I pulled this out, which is salt, but I thought it was a, a hand wipe, which it wasn't there. It was this, but this is not it. And I was about to rip it open and then I started feeling that it kind of felt grainy inside and I was like, I don't think that's the hand wipe. So thankfully, because I was holding it sideways and I was going to rip it open to pull the hand wipe out and thankfully I figured that out before I did because that would have been awfully messy salt all over my lap. But they must have known that I'm like a messy blind person and they gave me a nice little wet wipe. So this little guy just popped up to say hello. Did you just wake up from a nap? Hey, get up. Oh, maybe you want some water. Wait, babe. Do you want some water? Don't lay down yet. Do you want some wawa? Let me have some water for you. Here. Where's your nose? Do you want, do you want water? Lights landed, we're safe and sound. Um, and thank you so much for all your hard work and the way across. Um, so it's 12.30 a.m. Toronto time, 5.30 a.m. here. And we didn't sleep at all, so I probably look like death. We had this makeup on forever. Uh, Gallop's happy to arrive though. Now he has to get checked by the agriculture people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See you Turn the booty around. Come on. Okay. Come on, babe. <laughs> okay. Go back to the food. <laughs> you have to turn your booty around. Turn it down. <laughs> okay. Ready to put your harness on? Harness. There it go. Now you have to be my eyes again, okay? Back to work we go. All right. Okay. See you now. Have a great bye. time. Thanks. Bye, now. has just been checked by the agriculture team and he has been accepted into Ireland. Thank goodness, that was scary after months of work and being told different things to do, but we did it right at the end of the day and we got him approved to come into the country so we're not shipping Gallup and I home to Canada, which is very nice. So that was our adventure, getting my dog to Europe for the first time. Now we just have to hope our luggage gets here too. You might be wondering why I'm sitting on the floor at the airport doing my makeup. That's because uh, our baggage hasn't come in and they lost half the flight's baggage. So luckily I had a very small bag of makeup remover and toiletries like toothbrush so I brushed my teeth in the bathroom and I uh, took my makeup off and I'm redoing it with a little bit of makeup that I have to feel time and to feel fresh. Good news, my face is done just in time for the luggage to arrive. Thank goodness. What time is it now for us? Like 2 or 2.30 in the morning? So we just got out of the airport with our bags. Thank goodness. And we got a taxi and Gallup is all confused because he's on the wrong side of the car. But we're here, we're in Ireland. Gallup has officially hit European soil. Classic Gallop. All the new Irish smells.